Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in to Eric Time. Today this video is about changing out the fog lights on my 2018 Ford F-150. So it's a common problem on these Ford F-150s that the fog lights will crack right in the middle. This right here is a, a temporary fix, this is some flex seal tape. It's It holds up alright, it actually does the job, keeps the water out of there. Uh, earlier with uh, with this the water was up to here and the bulb was shattered so there's a new bulb in there uh, but I did find some used fog lights on Facebook marketplace that we're going to be replacing these with so here are the fog lights that I found on Facebook marketplace the guy was nice enough to wrap them up and keep them in good condition um, these are OEM Fords so there you can see the little logo. Uh, these are going to be the OEM fitment. That's, that's kind of what I'm looking for. The more universal ones don't make a bracket for it. So you would have to custom make your own bracket. And then the other ones that are aftermarket look really cool. They got the LEDs. But those are very expensive. So this is what I'm going to put on there. Just that way I can get by. So the first step of getting to these fog lights, what I'm going to do, I got one screw there, one screw there, one screw there, and that plastic pin right there. Now these, they, they look like a 7 30 seconds ish. So I'll get the ratchet out, pull those back, and that will actually allow me to take this cover and tuck it back over here so that way I have access to the fog lights back there. All right, so with this screw, this screw, this screw, and that plastic clip removed. What I'm gonna do is just kinda pull this panel back a little bit to give me some room for the fog light, and that is right there. So right here, I've seen other videos where people are getting them from the underneath side. That is just a little bit harder, so I just like to give myself a little extra room. So first step, we'll take out the old fog, the actual bulb and we'll put that in a safe place. All right, so the bulb is out. It does come with those little clips, so what you'll do is you'll pull those back with your fingers. Don't pull so hard because you don't want that to break off. And another thing that, that we'll need to take a look at is we'll count the threads on that screw. That is the alignment screw for the fog lights. So it looks like I got one, two, three, four, Five, and the fifth one on a level area comes up right there so we'll remember that for when we put the new one in and we're actually going to reuse this screw all right so the screw is out of the original now what will go on is the screw will actually go in right over here and of course the spring will go in there and that's what will actually hold the spring so that way when you screw it in there it hold it allows us to tilt now, haven't taken these out before, but just judging by the way that this fog light is, I think it's going to remove going through the front and underneath it, it looks like there should be some tabs that slip over and clamp on here. So what I'll be doing is taking a screwdriver and prying off of the sides to release it, or at least release one and then push it forward because uh, I really don't care about the broken ones that are in there right now. All right, so I'm underneath the front passenger side of the F-150. Right here, that screw did come out right here, and that's where it goes through. This, this can actually tilt up and down now. I'll be prying with the screwdriver right here to pop that out, um, and I'll do a top view for you here real quick. But that's where I'll be prying is inside this little U-shape right there to get that to release so that way I can push out the fog light from the back. Now looking in here, there isn't much room to get into the other side. So probably just gonna get one side and force it out that way. Um, right here I did try to stick a screwdriver in from the bottom, can't get it there. Can't really reach it from the side around here. So uh, it's that side or nothing. So here's how the first side is going. Uh, could not release the tab on the back. So what I'm doing 
is uh, I went ahead and peeled open the front. There you can see it's already been shattered. That's some remnants of the light bulb that shattered inside. So right here is kind of what I'm working with. Um, and it looks like, I really don't care about this fog light, it's already cracked. Um, it looks like you can pull it out through the front. So just stick your screwdriver in, kind of flex it a little bit on the back side of that to loosen it up, and then at the same time push from the back to get the fog light to come out. I guess I need two hands. All right, so right here, I did push right there. You can see the marks from the, from the screwdriver right there. Now, when you have this side loose and this side comes forward, what you'll want to do is stick your screwdriver in on this side. And all it did was take one little press right there, and it released. And I pushed it out from the back side, reaching my arm around the back. And that's how it came out. So all I got left is clean up a little debris. Right here, this is the old fog light. Seen better days. Looks like, honestly, I think it's been resealed one time or another, judging by the, the excess glue. Um, this is the OEM that I bought off of somebody. There we go. So it looks like the only thing that I have to do is to flip over the plastic clip. And after that, it will just slide in right through the front. All right, so right here, I did take that out and I flipped it over. So as you can see, those are what fit into those tabs that we try to pry. Um, the reason why I'm going with it this way is because right here I test fitted the bulb and that's how it came out is you stick it in here and then you turn it clockwise to lock it in. So that's why I decided that this light goes on this side. So right here, should just slide right in. Beautiful, just beautiful. All right, so the fog light just got popped in. Um, you can see it did snap in place right there. Next step, we're gonna slide this spring in there. The screw. Take your Phillips head. And just screw it in. And what we'll do is we'll go up to that view on the side so that way we can count the threads. All right, and right here, if you, of course, tighten it, what it'll do is it'll actually angle the fog light up. So this truck, I did have a leveling kit put on it. So what I actually wanna do is I won't screw it to the four and a half threads, five threads that you're seeing. So I'm actually gonna um, loosen it so that way I only see four threads and then I'll copy that for, this, for the other side also. All right, so right here, the, the adjustment that I'm going with is the uh, top thread on the lowest plastic piece. All that's left is to put the bulb in place. This right here, this is a 9145 bulb. It's supposed to be a 9140. The difference is the wattage. Uh, 40 is supposed to not burn out the housing. 45 is a little bit more common. So I was able to find this for a little bit more affordable of a price. The 9140 was about $13 a piece at O'Reilly's and the 9145 was sold in a pair at Walmart for $18 for both. All right, and to secure the bulb, just take that, push it up and you'll see the clip will slide right over the little nub that comes out on the bulb right there. And then after that, just pull it back down. You got the plastic clip and then one two, three screws, and that should secure it back in place. 
All right, so now I have one side done. Next, to tackle this other side. Should go a lot faster since I know what I'm doing now. And uh, I really don't care for it since it's broke. All right, and after that little hyperlapse, just want to show you the last part. I have the screw in there to set the alignment for the light. Just got to put this guy back in there. It's nice and tight let's give this a try all right looks like we got both of them working so did good enough of a job actually we did a pretty good job uh, next is going to be just putting the fold back in there which goes just like this and then of course you got your screw there screw there that's a plastic push pin and then one right up here Alright, and that is how you change out the fog light assemblies on a 2018 Ford F-150. This should work for a 2015 through 2020 also. Um, if you can, if you got something from this video, or if you have any suggestions, please light up the comments. Uh, but if you could, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys.